Hey everybody, this is Dr. Daniel Choi here from North Texas Dental Surgery, Wisdom Teeth, and Denture Implant Center. And I have my lovely assistant, Kaylin, here. All right, say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, so um, we are going to talk about basically periodontal disease, which is, you know, gum disease, dental implants. Um, wanted to talk about a case that we had. A patient came in here recently. He actually had some periodontal treatment and uh, years ago, and he had some dental implants placed. And unfortunately, let me show you basically what's going on here. This is the state of his mouth right now, right? So we have tons of bone loss around his dental implants um, and his teeth. And the, what does that really look like? Here we go. This is the panoramic x-ray. You see tons of bone loss. So Caitlin, what do you see here? They're hanging on for dear life. Yeah. So <laughs> obviously you've been working with me for a few years, so you know basically what's going on here. So severe periodontal disease. Now, um, what is going on here? So the patient is a smoker. He does smoke a lot. Um, so that's definitely not helping things. So if you are a smoker, then it makes your periodontal disease seven times worse. Um, and also, um, so his question is like, he's coming here. He's like, he wants options, right? Mm -hmm. So he came in, he said, Hey, can I get another partial? And I was like, that's not going to work because a partial, you know, it basically has a little clasp around it that hang around your other teeth. Mm -hmm. And when you already have too much bone loss on your other teeth, I mean, that's just going to wiggle those other teeth right out. So, you know, options for him, he can get a denture, he can get dental implants, you know, all on four, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but he asked me a very important question. This is what I wanted to center this video around. Um, he's like, well, wait a second. Like if I already have bone loss and I'm losing my implants, why would I do dental implants again? You know, mm -hmm. which is a very logical question. He already has some that are failing. Right, right. So obviously you've been working for me a few years. Um, you've seen a lot of all on fours come through here. We've had a lot of patients that have periodontal disease, right? Mm -hmm. So what has been, what have you seen for those patients that had severe periodontal disease? And then got that, all on four? That did all on four. I mean, amazing results. Awesome. Awesome right. results. And it's not had... just like a six month thing. No. It's not a one year thing. It's not a two year thing. And then everything goes to hell, right? Yeah. How would you know if the implants were starting to have issues? So you come in for regular checkups, cleanings after your um, all in for actual surgical appointment. And then that's when we take x-rays and we constantly monitor to see if you're going to have any issues or problems. Because you would see the bone loss. Right. Right. So it's not like that, you know, that patient that I'm showing you earlier, like his bone just like went from being up here on the implants to down here, like it's overnight. It's over time, yeah. Yeah, it's over time, right? So I think one of the biggest fallacies that we have with dental implants on patients that have gum disease is number one, there's a lot of, I hate to say this, like, you know, being a trained, you know, periodontist back in residency, like we act like when we're placing dental implants, periodontal disease is a plague, right? Mm -hmm. So we do not want to place implants on patients that have active periodontal disease, right? Because the bacteria that cause the bone loss um, for periodontal disease um, can actually affect the bone, not only around just natural teeth, but also your, your, your implants, okay? So why would you invest thousands of dollars on something that's gonna fail ultimately if you're not tr creating, uh, treating the root of the problem? Right, what caused it in the first place? Right, so basically, if you know if that's the issue how are we basically gonna well, well okay actually let me like take one step back so i graduated residency in 2011. <clears throat> i remember all on four that's kind of when they like nobel started to go around doing this marketing pitch for all on four all over the country around that time and um they were talking about taking teeth out placing the implants on patients that had active periodontal disease the same day for me <laughs> Like that was heresy, right? Like, which immediately it turned me off from all on four immediately. And I was like, that's, that's crazy talk, right? And so what the whole logic though was, is that um, if you get the teeth out, the bacteria is all on the roots, mm -hmm. right? And in the tissues too, the gums and stuff like that. But when you take the teeth out, you know, you can use some antiseptic rinses like chlorhexidine on the bone, smooth out the bone, so it'll get rid of some of the infected bone anyways. But you like someone can make an argument also that you might have some bacteria in the tissues, which is where Lanap might actually come in and it might be a little benefit too. But um, and I don't want to talk about Lanap, but that's the laser that we treat periodontal disease. But you know what we've seen, and obviously like you know like many clinicians, thousands of clinicians all over the world doing all on four will tell you that we have tons of patients that have all on four. That I mean periodontal disease, we took out all their teeth. Um, and we place the dental implants and they have great success over the years. So all on four is a great option for them. So, you know, that's how I had to answer that guy's question because I hate, I mean, he had his treatment done with someone several years ago. Um, and I get, 
you know, not to blame the previous dentist, but I guess that, you know, this patient wasn't really play, playing his part. Like he was still smoking a lot pack mm -hmm. a day. He wasn't treating his periodontal disease. And that's one of the biggest issues with a lot of these patients you see, right? They, they get treatment and then they're like, oh, I'm, I'm cured. Mm -hmm. Periodontal disease is a like a condition where you're constantly fighting that bacteria until you basically lose all your teeth. When you lose all your teeth, you're getting rid, the, rid of the source of the infection, the bacteria on the roots. But yeah, that would you know help me answer that uh, you know that question for patients. So you can. So the bottom line is, if you have periodontal disease, if you do an all of war, you can do that as an effective solution. And we have patients, and I can show you a quick X-ray right here. A patient, for example, who did an all of four. All right, so here's a patient we treated several years ago. She, um, when she first came in, she actually was seeking for an option to treat her periodontal disease. Um, as you can see here, um, maybe not to the untrained eye, but Kaylin, what do you see here? The roots, she's got major root, res root resorption, and Ma then just- Massive bone loss. Massive bone loss massive, and infection. Massive, massive bone loss. Um, I mean, her, her teeth were literally like flapping in the wind because there's so much bone loss here that you know, she did want to get this treated, but I told her, listen, you know, we could do something like Linap or treat your periodontal disease, but we are literally wasting your time and money on that. So let's let's talk about all four. And so you could see after we placed her implants, but basically this is her after her procedure and the dental implants, and you don't see any bone loss going on around the implants. Now, you know, Kaylin, we were just talking about that though, like it's, you know, all on four, what we like, you know, for any patient that's doing all on four, just because you do an all on four, it doesn't mean like that's your ticket out and never having to worry about your teeth again. You still want to brush them. <laughs> you still want to use a water pick. You still want to come in every six months to 12 months to get your cleanings professionally. So we can get under there and all the nooks and crannies. We take the prosthesis off. We clean it for you, uh, clean the attachments. So you, they can't just ignore it, right? No. You still can't smoke. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, like, okay, I, I try to, t like, especially after the procedure, I always tell patients, listen, I don't want to smoke you, having you smoking a week into the procedure, and I don't want you smoking at least a month after the procedure. And the reason I tell you that is during that healing process, it could be the worst thing you could ever do. You're making a big investment in your, you know, time and money into this procedure. But the funny thing is, though, like, patients actually can smoke later on down the road. I probably shouldn't tell them that. But after the healing is, like, you actually can smoke again. But... Um, if you just, I mean, you're making a big investment, like how do we make sure that this is going to last over the long haul? So there are certain things that you want to take care of afterwards. But yeah, this video, I just want to let patients know that, you know, all on four, the getting dental implants are an effective solution. Um, if you have some teeth remaining and you, you know, again, you have to get gum disease treatment first, whether that's like Linap, osteosurgery, you know, the laser, whatever it is, you still have to treat your gum disease before you get your dental implants. You don't want active periodontal disease. But another option out is if you're fighting this battle against periodontal disease, just get your teeth taken out, get all on four, and it can be a really good lifelong lasting solution. Might save some time and money down with that road too. And also um, aesthetics too. Yeah. So yeah, patients have been really happy about that. So hopefully you guys found this information very helpful. Uh, we appreciate it. If you could give us a thumbs up and follow and also um, leave any comments below if you have any questions. We really try to answer all your questions. Appreciate it. Thank you.